Our team at Independence Bank is so very excited about the opportunity to partner with the Special Olympics Murray Rockets team. We have the opportunity to work directly with the athletes, to share the smiles that they have along the way, to give the high fives, and to encourage them to keep on striving to do more, to do better, and to keep on dreaming big. This is basically my happy place out here. I just come from a family of mechanics, carpenters, electricians, and I am honored to be a part of that. I love being out here. It always has come to mind. When you're working with metal, it's like working with another person almost. My dad. He's taught me a lot. I've taught myself a lot. It is good to be here where I'm at right now. I can rebuild a motor, no trouble. But I just cannot tie my suits for nothing. I have a learning disability. I mean, that's the reason I've wore slip-on boots, all that stuff most all my life. Other than that, it ain't slowed me down too much. I mean, I'm out here doing what I love. It's always good to have good friends. And I've never had that opportunity up until I joined Special Olympics. Everyone here that does Special Olympics in Kentucky is like a big family. We love each other. We support each other. Sometimes uh, you feel like you're the only one when you're really not because you have all these friends with disabilities that can relate. We all just love one another, and, and that's just how the Special Olympics is. It's exciting and very mind-blowing because you got all these other people, like people without disabilities, that win medals too, but when someone like me does it, it's a really big deal. They are wrong when they say you can't do that thing. Brush it off and move on and do that thing and prove them wrong because with a little bit of hard work comes a big success. To me it's more than just metal, it is an achievement. These athletes are some of the bravest individuals I know. They're fearless. Um, they have challenges, you know, whether it be, you know, physical or, or intellectual, and they don't let that stop them. We have a lot of athletes who are very independent. They live independently. They work in the community. They have their driver's license. Um, they go to college. And then we have others, you know, who need a little bit more support. Basically, all the fingers of Special Olympics are all volunteer run. It's our coaches, it's our families um, who are out there fundraising, trying to get those dollars so that we can provide our sports and our competitions free of charge. Money and finances should never be a barrier for someone to not get involved. I couldn't afford to, like his bowling and uh, golfing and stuff like that. Why, well, if it hadn't been for them doing all this stuff, he would never have no knowledge of that because it takes money to bowl and it takes money, I'm sure, to go play golf and things like that. And what they have got these kids in, it, it's really it's really awesome the way they do. They're teaching him things that I can't. I try to teach Tyler right from wrong. It, it, it keeps him occupied and yeah, something to do, I guess, and might, might say keeps him out of trouble, you know. 
you know, I look at our athletes and I look at the support I need to give them to be successful to reach a certain level, and then we raise that bar. We're constantly trying to take our athletes and move them up the ladder of accomplishments. They just need someone to believe in them. So we just try to look at, you know, what their goals are and the things that they love, and we find what they can do in any situation. Sometimes we get paralyzed with fear, trying something new, taking that first step out of your box and out of your comfort zone and the area that people have tried so hard your whole life to protect and to keep you safe and to do that step out, it can be really scary. And I guess I just want to encourage everyone to take that chance. Put your fear aside and trust in and look forward to all the accomplishments and the ways your life can change from that one step. Because once you step in, we've never had anybody who's wanted to step back out. But once you get past that fear, you know, and that intimidation of going into something new and something frightening with new faces and new people and new experiences, you know, once you're there, the whole world will open up and you'll have opportunities that you never thought you would ever have.